Hey there, LCR. As we mentioned in church on Sunday, it's time for us to think about being spiritually renewed in the new year. One of the ways we can do that is our Carcio retreats. We have a couple pilgrims set up. The male retreat's the first week in February. The female retreat is the second week, and we hope that you will partake in that if you haven't been. It's a three-day retreat connecting you to the message of grace. We'll also be meeting this Sunday for spiritual exercises. If you'd like to be part of a focused 100 days of prayer, basically God healing things in you so that you can be free to answer God's call. Really, the goal of this is letting the Holy Spirit be the guide as we create an environment where the Spirit can work on us, and that will be after the second service this week. We have some great stuff coming up as well fellowship-wise. We have our dinners for eight. We hope that you will sign up if you'd like to get more connected to folks and families in the parish. We also have our Mardi Gras party that we're going to do at Steady Brew Pub in Fountain Valley, and I think the mayor of Fountain Valley is actually going to join us for that, Glenn Grandis. And then at the end of February, we have our murder mystery night. So you'll be seeing lots of sign-up opportunities to participate in that if you would like to be involved or engaged. We wanted to offer a special word of congratulations to Robin Wood. Robin started Robin's Nest, and in a partnership with Homemade, they just built a shelter for transitional age youth uh, in Huntington Beach. And they did the ribbon cutting this week and they had tons of contractors and people helping out on that. And it's really a miracle. Can you think how hard it is to get a house or uh, renew a house? And they had so many people want to join in because people are looking to be part of the solution. So we wanted to congratulate Robin's Nest on an incredible uh, job that I hope will inspire others to ask, what is it that God is asking of me in this time in which we're living? So as we go through the season of Epiphany, we pray that God's light shines on us as we come to this Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. We give thanks for his leadership in the civil rights movement. You may remember his name was Michael King. He and his father and his father changed both their names after going to Europe and seeing the example of Martin Luther. We know that all our heroes have warts, if you want to put it that way. All of them have frailties, but we need people who can inspire us and show us a different way. And so we give thanks, especially this weekend, for Dr. King, for his vision, for his work, and his sacrifice. We'll see you in church on Sunday.